to another video by the Frontline Trooper. My name is Andrew Cook, and of course, by the title, you can tell this video is about the Halo Reach Needle Rifle. Now, for many months now, I've really wanted to do another Covenant rifle ever since I did the complete success on my Halo Reach Plasma Repeater. Now, this was the second Covenant gun I had ever attempted, and it was quite difficult because it was a big step out from the standard UNSC designed based polygon shapes for the um, majority of the guns that I created before. And you guys honestly loved this and got quite a big success here on YouTube. So I decided why wouldn't, why shouldn't I attempt another Covenant gun? So there was many uh, questions I was asking you guys what would be a cool one to see. And after much and many arguments with people wanting this and that, I decided I'd go with a Halo Reach Covenant um, Needler rifle. Now the reason I did that over the much anticipated Needler gun um, was because I really wanted something bigger. Now, the Halo Reach play, uh, Needler was about double, about that height. Now, so look, put that on a human, that would look quite silly, so I decided to go with the Halo Reach Needler Rifle, which I'm about to show you now. So here it is, guys. Now, this has completely been made out of styrofoam, so I've decided I wanted to go with a full styrofoam makeover to make it, remember, I'm here to make cheap budget films, uh, film props, but of course, low prices. Now, this here was about seven hours of work, now that is not much for a high class weapon and I'm always getting better and better at so that means it cuts down uh, production time. So altogether this probably cost me just under $30. Now I could have done a better one of this and maybe spent about $200 on it to really get um, transparent needles with pink, pe blah, pink pigmentation on it so it could be in plastic or resonated um, plastic where that had all been molded so it was kind of a transparent or translucent um, actual needle. So like a, what do you call them, they're actually like um, amethyst crystals. And I'm going to be, and I could have, um, chucked a whole nice resin coated kind of silicon reflective surface over this whole gun to really give it that covenant um, appearance and really sell the gun. But there's one thing I think I might actually do to this, I just have to find a substance that will not melt the foam completely and destroy the gun in total. So yeah. Will I be doing another Covenant rifle after this? Possibly. Um, with the success of this one and finding out how easy it is kind of to do once I put my mind to it, um, I probably will. I'm not sure which one I might be doing. I'm not saying I might not do a fuel rod cannon. I think that would be pretty cool after doing the Spartan laser and you guys absolutely love that and I got quite a bit of attention here on YouTube. I think a fuel rod cannon would be pretty cool as well. So who knows, I might actually go into more huge physical size weapons. Now, the full measurements of this one is not completely correct. I've done this to about 95% of the full size because the real Elite ones were a bit too big. Now, when I say a bit too big, I kind of mean that Elites are huge and Spartans are huge. I'm not too tall and we humans would be quite minuscule compared to a full size needle rifle. So yeah, I've cut it down to about 95% of the size, which is nice and reasonable. If I stand back, you can see it. It looks quite nice on the human body and it actually fits in quite well. The other thing is um, the thickness I as well has cut down a bit because otherwise it would be pretty damn thick and it just wouldn't look as good as it does on camera. Uh, you don't want to have the actor overwhelmed by uh, the weapon he's holding. Sure it does look cool and effective such as having the Spartan laser on ODST but it's a Spartan laser you got to expect it to be big. So what do you think guys? Do you really like this? Um, I hope I've created it to please you. you. I know you guys love the plasma repeater, so I really wanted to do another um, Covenant gun, and I knew you guys would love this one. So, uh, like the video if you really do like this gun, or tell me what other gun I should do, and if I should do a Furor Cannon. Please don't say a uh, laser sword, because I can't do a laser sword out of styrofoam. That's the one you guys have really been asked, uh, asking me to do, but I just can't see how I would be able to do it. It would snap. Um, yeah. So I, I can't do one of those. So maybe a funeral cannon is pretty cool. But I wanted to try this. I've got a few guns on the way. If you have, don't know what they are, go check out my Facebook channel. I've got a Facebook page that's the Frontline Trooper forward slash Andrew Cook. I've got all the production pre-production photos from the styrofoam to the painting to the final product all there for you guys to go check out pre-release of the video. And I've got plenty of stuff going on there. Like, oh, we well, can just go and find out yourself. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'll just hold it here for you guys to see. Um, but there's nothing really else I can tell you about it. It's just a good prop that I put about $20, 20 to $30 of actual money into. And for that, it's a well, well rewarding prop, to be honest. Um, 
yeah, I can't wait to start using this in my film. I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it in my film as I can't really do elites, but who knows, I can probably find it somewhere and just animate some of these needle things to disappear and shoot and really kind of master that. I would do it now, but um, because I've only just finished this, I really haven't gone to study how the gun actually fires yet and whether or not I can actually do it with my uh, me oh, not mediocre effects skills, but um, I'm not too advanced with it, so, but I'll give it a go. Um, so my name's Andrew Cook, this is the Frontline Trooper, this is my Halo Reach needle rifle. Go check out my channel, the Frontline Trooper. Also go check out Halo the Fallen. That's a group I'm providing props for, to making a short Halo film, Halo fan film, uh, production over in America. And we're in pre-production stage at the moment, we're making ODST suits, props, assault rifles, all that kind of stuff. And who knows, you might be able to get your own if you help donate, but go check out their page on Halo the Fallen forward slash Facebook.com and you'll find out yourself. Have a good day.